So I'm here with uh, Ron Tunders, end of October, and we're looking at uh, some twin row switchgrass. So we we would um, tape over in the in the seed box every third run, so he gets this gap. And Ron, what do you what do you think of this system of twin row switchgrass? I'm really quite impressed with it. I I really like the fact that that the, the plants just seem to that they fill in the rows really well. Weed control doesn't seem to be a pressure. I use a little less seed when I'm planting, and uh, and. The, it, it seems, just seems to have a little less competition with itself. Um, I also seem to see more wildlife in it when I was combining because the, the, the bunnies and the, and, and the little birds that have seem to have some place to run through these roads. Uh, I've chased raccoons out, I've chased bunnies, I've chased uh, like a quail or a, or a pheasant out. Um, they always, they're always running in that, in that uh, twin row. So, um, I'm really quite happy with it. I think I'll keep doing that for as long as I, I'm seeding this. What do you think about the standability? I think it stands better for some... Uh, I've seen no lodging really on the twin road, but I don't have any third or fourth year stands in it. So we'll see how that uh, pans out in the future. Yeah, well, this is an excellent looking first year um, seeding you have of uh, twin row RC Chippewa. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with it.